Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary... Miscreant. To get this gun, you will need the Bounty of Blood DLC, and the boss you want to farm is Quartermaster. So yeah, let's head over and get this gun. Alright, so what you're going to do is head to Blood Sun Canyon, and you're going to travel to the presentation room right here in the middle of the map. At the end, you're going to find the boss Quartermaster, and that's who we're taking on today. Yeah, I'll head over and I'll meet you guys when I get there. On your way over, you're going to hit this save right here, so that when you save quit, you're going to spawn right there. And yeah, it's a really short walk to the arena now. So let's go ahead and do one kill together, see what we get. So there's the boss. We're gonna hit the portal. Now we're over here. Okay, so shock first for the shield. Uh, also, I should probably do unlimited fadeaway. Or non three shot fadeaway. All right, boss is down. Now for fire. Take him out. And I think we got it right there, yeah. Awesome, there it is. So damage, really high. Accuracy, okay. Handling, average. Reload time, not bad. Fire rate, really fast. And mag size, 15. Red text is, why waste time shoot lock gun when few gun do trick? So anyways, bonus weapon damage, negative weapon accuracy, bonus weapon fire rate, and 2.2 times weapon zoom. Also, this gun comes in all the elements, including the non-elemental form. All right, so the gun doesn't look very colorful. It's a little bit old looking. It's a very pale mix of blue, green, and brown, but it stands out as a unique, so yeah, I like it. This weapon shoots out rockets instead of bullets, and they're not very accurate. They do kind of wave around a little bit, and you can fire this thing really fast, as you can see here. Now, the secondary firing mode is going to be the double barrel, and this increases your fire rate by 25%. There is no penalty, like you don't lose damage or anything like that, so this will literally increase your damage per second. You should always use it. Alright, so we're playing on Mayhem 10. Here's some modifiers I have. Let's go ahead and push forward. I go for this dude. And yeah, you can see this thing is doing work. So good. Also, we're not even doing double barrel. Let's uh, put that on. <laughs> yep, this is definitely a gun you want for Moe's. And guys, those are body shots. Not even critical hits. Now, it is a little bit inaccurate, so if enemies are moving around, it's going to be hard to hit them. Yeah, so this gun is not going to be good for long range. It's really only meant for close or medium range. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but does it do soft damage too? Yes, it does. <laughs> Oop. Yeah, see, if enemies are in your face, you don't want to shoot this thing. Now, with the consuming ammo so fast, you're going to run out pretty quick. So do keep that in mind. All right, so for mobbing, this thing is top tier. So let's go ahead and take on a boss. Try to go for the crits if I can. And even for not hitting crits, that is doing decent damage. There we go. There's the crits. Yeah, you can see the difference when you're hitting critical hits. All right, boss down. So final thoughts on the Miscreant. This pistol is really good. With the crazy amount of fire rate you have with it being a blad off and the high base damage, this thing really stacks up. Now the issue is it's gonna eat a lot of ammo really fast, so be aware of that. Also, it's not very accurate, so it's only gonna be useful for close or medium range. Overall, this weapon is a top choice, and I'm definitely gonna be adding it to my Moe's setup. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that would be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.